Man, there's so many fun games on Roblox to play. What should I play? Bloxburg? Adopt Me? Royal High? Hey, <laughs> stupid! It's me, your conscience! Oh. Hey, Conscience. Yeah, uh, instead of playing fun, popular games, how about you just play the worst games? Like, the, the worst games on Roblox. Oh, uh, hey, that's a good idea, Conscience. I should play really stupid, gross games that nobody wants to see instead of fun, popular ones. Thanks, Conscience. Idiot! Now go do it, you giant sack of drippy diarrhea. Oh. Okay, I'll get to it. Okay. Hello, my fumble family and welcome back to the Caden Fumble Bottom YouTube channel My name is Caden and as you can see I just had an argument with my conscience My consciousness decided that I'm going to be playing the worst games of all time on Roblox today for your entertainment I am risking my life my sanity and my the Roblox characters buns in order to play these games today So let's get in there and get to the worst games ever Ow, man, hurt. Okay, my Fumble family, I have here nine games pulled up, nine whole games to go through today, and each one of them are profuse. Some of them are made bad on purpose. They're meant to be funny, but terrible games in, in like a comedic sense. Some of them are genuinely just bad. Some of them are made by complete noobs, and it's just kind of fun to go through and experience their very first attempt at making a game. I'm not trying to make fun of any of the game creators in this video. I'm just trying to have some fun and show you some of the worst experiences you can find easily. Unreal. Now let's get in there and be sad. First games, first we got Bigfoot Scary World by ArsonBro007. So this is a little bit of a promising game already. I mean, it says in quotations, Scary World, and the description is Bigfoot, ooh, my god. What? Uh, uh, uh. Sorry, I got so confused I almost threw up. I think it's supposed to mean Bigfoot. Oh my god. This says, oh my god. That's good enough for me. Let's get in there and see what this game is all about. Come on, Arson Bro. Oh my god, what is the image? It's like this intimidating human Bigfoot crossbreed. That's amazing. Okay, here we are in the Bigfoot world. Uh, I am an admin, so I can do this. <laughs> Farts for days, baby. And, uh, I, let's see. So far, there isn't too much. There's this really edgy badge of one of the creepiest, most cool images of all time. Oh my god! Bigfoot! Bigfoot is covered in blood and running for us! How did I not see that? He's, he won't die! I have three guns and none of them are killing him. Why is he immortal? No! No! As you can see, this game, this game deserves to be on this list. I just got sandwiched by Bigfoot and now he's trying to eat a tree. So that's pretty great. Uh, this is kind of a terrifying experience as giant Bigfoot. Well, how did I just die? I just touched that noob and I and I died. Stop! He's spawn killing me. <laughs> okay, giant Bigfoot covered in blood. There's only one way that I can take you down, and I think I'm gonna have to do it. <laughs> By jumping off this cliff. Oh god, look at the big monkey falling after me. Goodbye, rest in peace, big monkey. Is he alive anymore? Did he respawn? No, he didn't respawn. Thank god he didn't. We've defeated Bigfoot. And oh my god, he respawned. He's just walking into a tree back there. Okay, I guess there's no way around this. Bigfoot, you big scary monster. You are now the antagonist of one of the worst Roblox games of all time. Look at the floating trees. I'm gonna leave you in your domain, Bigfoot, because only you would want to be chilling here. And I'm gonna get the heck out of here before it's too late for me. Now go kill the new person who joined the server and let them have your terror. I'll just watch from the sidelines. <laughs> Rip! Oh god, I'm out of here. Okay, and the next game is Mr. Bacon's Late Night Snack. A game I played in the past, I really wish I wouldn't and hadn't. It's disgusting. Uh, no offense against people who enjoy being eaten, but this game's about being eaten. One of the worst experiences that you can find easily on Roblox. Let me show you what it's all about. Here's this dude named Mr. Bacon. He's, he doesn't have a face. That's already scary. He says, <laughs> You can hear my tummy noises from outside. Hehe, <laughs> gargle, gargle. And then you can say, Hey, you're weird. Or, Yeah, you can. Or, I can't hear. Or, um, bye. Uh, I'm just gonna say, You're weird. Because he's weird. <laughs> and he says, That's not nice. Uh, shut up. You have no face. You're terrifying. And that's what happens if you touch him. This. 
You can teleport it inside of a stomach, a disgusting, realistic stomach, and, ba and Minecraft Steve is in here, he says Bacon said he know like Minecraft, <clears throat> and that's already uh, a reason to dislike this game. Over here we got a dude and it says, ah Steve, I won't go without ya. Um, so I assume you have to exit through this mysterious hole. Not sure what that is, but that's the end of the game! Oh god, on to the next one. Up next we have the best game ever, but Kaden, I thought you said this was the worst games ever. I, I did say that, but now we're playing the best game ever, or so it claims. This game is called Roblox World, best game ever. It's by Codney Play 20. Hi guys, this is Roblox World. Play the game and have fun and play with friends and like the game and follow. So obviously you know it's a really good game. So it has it has a lot of likes. It has a lot more dislikes. Let's get in there and check it out. Okay, uh, automatically here's this girl. Uh, Pip my little pony and she's on the ground dead presumably dead holding a pizza sword So let's ride our handless segue as it's called in this game a Handless segue on top of her dead lifeless body. This game is pretty good running over dead people. That's fun Okay, uh, why did I just collapse into her? All right? Well, I guess I have also died You can't really use your items or you you die. So I'm gonna spawn Godzilla now God Godzilla attack! He just stands there. Oh, a big pile of Robux! Don't mind if I do! Whoop! It's all one solid glitchy model. None of this Robux is for the taking! Wee! Oh! My legs! Oh, my legs! Here you can become one of four or five different versions of Spider-Man and the Flash. Wow, you wowza! This is such a good game. Over here you can play your computer games. Your stupid friend from high school, Michael. Stupid Michael. You're a stupid friend, Michael. Over here you can get some machines with your junk bot pals. Get a lot of different types of soda. Although this dude is taking it all. I want some of that soda if you could please step the heck out of the way for a second. Thank you. Or you can go over here and get a cheeseburger out of a vending machine. That's very... Don't ever eat that if you see that in real life. Wait a minute. Why am I calling this game bad? I haven't even seen the shop that they have. Oh, it's got to have some pretty sick stuff in it. Let's go in there and find out. Wow! It's a bunch of random clothes! This is epic! Okay, so they have a pretty epic park that has a lot of- oh, Hey! That lady ran into me and knocked me over, stupid lady. This park has a lot of epic things, you know, it's got the spinny things, it's got the slide that slide that you can slide down if you, your parents love you enough to take you to a park. wonder how that feels. <laughs> and of course, like every playground has, we have a, a couch with cushions. Okay, I would say this game is pretty inherently bad to be honest, but if you take a look over here, you will see that they do, in fact, have a domino. Oh my god, I jumped over the dominoes. I hate this game. I quit. <sighs> On to the next game. Okay, this very well thought out and, and good game is called Scary Teacher. 3D and this is the thumbnail. Uh, I'm assuming this is the scary teacher right here in which case she looks a little spooky uh, So it's actually a, a well-received game with uh, 862 dislikes compared to the 279 people that uh, had the courage to like this despite the fact that they probably did it They're Owned by Kalidas Mikiidis and I'll give them a point for their good name. That's a solid name And here is the game. You got a bunch of different it's scary teacher badges kind of looks like me honestly uh, it says thank you for 1 million visits this game has somehow garnered up 1 million visits it scraped up all the bottom feeders of roblox and said hey come play my game and uh, somehow managed to get 1 million visits so uh let's eat a slice of this pizza by making it slowly teleport closer to our face and then let's go into the game oh you can be mousy except you're like on all fours it's a little weird all right you could be a Power Ranger, you could be one of many Power Rangers, you could be Robbie from, from Piggy, you could be a baby, I don't know, what, that's Granny? That's Granny? 
<laughs> That's so scary! Alright, let's be this coconut head looking granny. Uh, okay, apparently we can't be. Can we be any of the morphs? Do any of the morphs work? Are they all broken? Why is dead Mario here? Uh, why am I now jumping with dead Mario's body? Alright, uh, yeah, dead Mario, just go ahead and chill on my shoulders. We're gonna get you out of here, buddy. Don't you worry. We're not gonna leave your body here. We're gonna give you a nice burial. Okay, so none of the morphs work. Uh, apparently, I, uh, except for the girl uniform I am now wearing. So that's cool. At least you can see my beautiful thighs and stuff. Anyways, here we are at the scary teacher's school with education and, and learning. That's the official name of the school. So that's cool. It says, sorry, we're closed, uh, but I'm gonna go in here anyway. And what the heck? Ah! Stop! Hey! The lady turned invisible and killed me automatically. I'm, I'm not fond of what just took place in this game, okay? Guys, I'm in scary school right now! <laughs> oh, man! I'm really scared! <laughs> oh, oh! Lockers! They're bringing back the memories of being shoved in those during high school. Now we go up the stairs and see the school lunch. Grass. Even scarier than my school lunches were. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god, what is that? That is scary! <laughs> Crying student who respawns over and over again. Is this phasmophobia? I'm having some scary flashback. Oh my god, it killed me. I don't know what to say about that except for I'm leaving this game and oh my god, it's the same killer from last time. And going on to the next game. I quit. That game, yeah, that's bad. That's a really bad game. Alright, here we have new endings and mobile. Ever, every camping game ever too. Uh, this is a parody game. It's supposed to be bad. So I'm gonna play a little bit of it so you get a little taste of it. <laughs> <laughs> so long story short, this is making fun of the, the, the plethora of camping slash story games that have come out on Roblox. This is supposed to be a big funny joke. Hey there, uh, dude. He says, hello and welcome to Spooky Woods. My name is Jarek and I'm gonna be your guide. Okay, yes. <laughs> Look at Jarek's face. He's beautiful. Okay, let's explore the campsite. X D D D D D. Follow me. Okay, Jarek. If you say so, you beautiful, not terrifying creature. Just me and Jarek scrolling in the park. Me and Jarek together till dark. Me and Jarek, we like to smell farts. It's me and Jarek, yeah. Okay, so this is Jarek. Yeah, I know. My tour is actually really interesting. Here's this house. And, uh, that's it? Question mark? Uh, no, no, there's more, actually. Come with me. Okay, thank God. Jarek and I have some more time together. That's good. I was getting worried. Here goes Jarek with his bacon hair at the end of this tool tour. There's sure to be despair. Hey! Thank you. Thank you for uh, everyone loving my music. Hey, uh, take that lantern. So I have not much to do here. I don't think this will be useful. Why did you show me it, Jarek? So that's the end of the tour. All right, let's go back to the camp. Follow me. Okay, Jarek. Great tour. Actually, really similar to a lot of camping games. No offense, camping games. A little bit of offense, camping games. I got tons of stuff. I even got marshmallows if you want, says Jarek. I would love those marshmallows. But you know what I want even more than those? You. And your tender kisses. Jarek. <laughs> this was a camping story. A horror story. And now it's about romance. Oh no, night is approaching and now it's it's dark outside. And I am sitting. But not really, because I am floating. Oh no, rain, says Jarek. Quick, go in a tent. And then Caden and Jarek kiss in the tent. That is the end of the story. Caden X Jarek for life. Yay, that was that game. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty good. Actually, it's really funny. It completely simulates how like repetitive and somewhat bad some story slash camping games have become because they're just kind of like stealing from other camping games. So yeah, I, I see this is probably the best game we've played so far. On to the next one. We'll play this game called Super Scary War. Warning! At least they warned us. At least they had the courtesy to warn us. This is by Hi QQ, and hopefully Hi QQ <sighs> made it not too scary for us. Okay, so here we are, and it doesn't exist. That's a pretty bad game. On to the next game. This game is called Poop Eating Simulator. Poop emoji, poop emoji. It's by Mr. Nudie Newt. Hi, if you would like to see more updates or tell me an update that I will do, comment on one of my videos on my YouTube channel called Caden Fumblebottom. So let's go in there and play it. It says, eat poo. That's all I need to know. Why have I stooped to making content about eating poop? <laughs> uh, anyways, let's play the game. Now we got 150 walk speed so we can walk into walls uh, and run into them and, and hurt ourselves like stupid bird people that we are. Uh, I can fart by saying fart or I can walk into a giant fart cloud. Pretty cool. 
What the heck? I clicked the fart cloud and it made me skinny. Why am I shrinking? Why am <laughs> What is this? Why have I become small? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. The farts take away your mass. Whereas you eat the poop and you put on the pounds, baby. Eat poop all day, every day if you want to bulk up like me. That's my workout routine. Eating poop all the time. Oh, so yeah, essentially you, you, you eat poop. This is what you do. This is what you do in the game. You get thick, you eat poop, and you look your best, baby. You look your best. Uh, so apparently you can even reach special poos. There's Spongebob with a, a booty. Inventory? What? You can have hat? You can remove my hats? Look, it's me! Why am I floating on the side of my screen? Am I just stuck there now? Look at- I'm swimming! Why am I swimming? What is this? Okay, whatever, I don't care. What is this, just vegan poop? Interesting. On to the next game. In that game, you eat a lot of poop. Yeah, pretty bad. Weren't satisfied with one bodily exiting fluid slash somewhat solid? Have another one! This one's called Throw Up Guys. Uh, I don't think you actually throw up in it. I tested this game out earlier. I just can't explain it. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Here you can see it says Godzilla, King of the Monsters. So like maybe a Roblox Godzilla event? Maybe it happened in the past and I just don't remember it? Maybe it hasn't happened yet? But it's, it's called Throw Up Guys? It's this. You just hit buildings and they turn into rubble. <laughs> That's it. That's all the whole game. I'm like, what? Were you going somewhere with this and abandon it? I don't know what this is, but but either way, I mean, all in all, it's a, it's a good concept for a game if you were to actually like make it into a game and not just like a lobby. But uh, yeah, just based off sheer confusion and not understanding what the heck this is supposed to be, I'm gonna go ahead and, get, and call this game pretty bad. Okay, the next game we have is called Fall Off a Cliff and Die, and it says, yeah, no more being safe. Please fall off the cliff. No, wait, I mean die. Ah, no, okay. What I was trying to say is I have forgotten. I give up on writing descriptions. That's a, that's a really bad description. Let's play the game. Wow, this is, it's a cliff. I am dying. I would rate that 10 out of 10. Next game. And now, for the last game on today's list of games, we have Survive the Slending Tubbies. Scary. And as you know, it's gonna be very hecka scary. So let's hop in there and scare our pants off. Or die trying. Oh yeah, baby! You know I had to include one of these games in here. Uh, this is the classic. Very, very classic and overused template for survival the killers. So long story short, in this game, there's like a random things you can interact with. Like the bare minimum of things to just randomly interact with. And you always have some monsters at the bottom of the treehouse. Currently, this one has its legs stuck in between the treehouse and the truss, so... Uh, that one can't currently kill me. In fact, I can- Oh, God! Killed me. But that's because I walked into it. Uh, they're mostly all stuck in between this wall here, except for Tinky Winky, the scariest of Teletubbies, who is currently chasing around and murdering all of us. So, uh, as you can see, pretty bad game. There's randomly a propane tank over here, and I don't know what that's all about either. So, uh, all in all, it's trash. It's garbage. I wish I never played it. Let me do the cha-cha and get killed by Tinky Winky. Anyways, my Fumble family, that marks the end of these terrible, terrible games. If you want to see me play through more terrible games, just let me know down in the comments below. Give this video a like, sub if you haven't already, and turn on the notification bell, because that does help me out a whole butt ton. And until next time, my Fumble family, consumption slap. Ah!